Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to a new video of Cambridge IELTS and this is the video about the Cambridge IELTS reading and our today's topic is IELTS reading list of headings. This is the most important part of the IELTS reading test. Most of you are scared of doing the IELTS reading list of headings but you can make it easy by doing a lot of practice and following the different instructions. In this way you can improve your band score in IELTS reading test. Here are a few tips. With the help of these tips, you can improve your band score and you can also solve the IELTS reading list of headings in a very easy way. Tip number one, first of all, you have to read the title of the passage. After reading the title of the passage, you will be able to get a clue that what information will be in the reading passage. In short, you will be able to get an idea about the reading passage after reading the title of the passage. Tip number two, read the headings in the list and mark the keywords in the headings and read quickly all the headings for three or four times. When you will mark the keywords in the headings, you will get the main idea of each and every heading in the list. By reading three or four times, you will be remember those headings when you will try to read the paragraphs in the passage. So in this case, your imagination must be strong and headings in the list are basically the short information about each and every paragraph in the reading passage. And you have to match this short information with any of the paragraphs in the reading passage in which detailed information is given. Tip number three, after reading the headings, you have to go straight to the reading passage and you have to find the keywords into the reading passage. After getting the keywords into the reading passage, you have to match those keywords with any of the heading in the list, which has same keywords. In this way, you will be able to get your right answers. Tip number four, the most important thing you need to do is that you have to learn the synonyms and paraphrases. Without the synonyms and paraphrases, it is not possible for anyone to do the IELTS reading list of headings or the whole IELTS test. Because the keywords you will mark in the list of headings, they will not be the same in the reading passage. They will be the similar meaning words. So without learning the synonyms and paraphrases, it is not possible to get the good bear score in IELTS reading test. So if you want to get good band score in IELTS reading, you have to get a full grip on synonyms and paraphrases. Tip number five, skim and scan the paragraphs in the reading passage. There is no need to read the whole text into the reading passage. You have to mark the keywords into the passage. Mostly it happens that your answer will be in the first two lines or in the last two lines of the paragraphs. But sometimes your answer will be in the middle of the paragraph. So you have to develop the ability of skimming and scanning. In this way, you will be able to save your time and you will be able to find your answers very quickly. Well, I hope that you have understood what I have said. If you have liked the video, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon for the notifications of upcoming videos. Let's start. Here are the list of headings. Number one, top ocean predators. Predators means hunters, animals or humans. Number two, toxic exposure. Toxic means poisonous and exposure means environment or surroundings. Number three, declining fish population. Declining means decreasing. So heading number three is the decreasing of fish population. Number four, player boating in the St. John Islands. Player means fun. So heading number four is the fun of boating in St. John Islands. Number five, underwater noise. Number six, smoke in large cities. Smoke means dust, smoke or fog in large cities. Number seven, impact of boat traffic. Impact means effect. So heading number seven is the effect of boat traffic. We have four questions, 27, 28, 29 and 30. The title of the passage number three is issues affecting the southern resident oracas. Oracas is the kind of whales. Let's read the paragraph A. Oracas also known as killer whales are opportunistic feeders which means they will take a variety of 
different prey species. In these lines, we have read that the oracas, the type of whales, are the killer whales and they attack on other fish as they get any chance. And they hunt different species for food. So in these lines, we have read about the oracas that they are killer whales. Some studies show that up to 90% of their diet is salmon. Salmon is the type of fish. It means that 90% of diet of oracas is salmon. With Chinook salmon being far and away their favorite. And Chinook salmon is the favorite food of oracas. During the last 50 years, hundreds of wild runs of salmon have become extinct due to the habitat loss and overfishing of wild stocks. It means that during the past 50 years, hundreds of salmon have vanished and the reason is that they have no place to live and due to the attack of wild sea animals like oracas. The word extinct means vanished or decrease. Habitat loss means no place to live and wild stock means the sea animals. So after the reading these lines, we can come to the conclusion that although in the first two lines we have read about oracas that they are killer whales, but we did not read about any comparison between oracas and the other sea animals, that which is the best hunter of small fish like salmon. Then we have read about the decreasing population of the salmon, that salmon have vanished because of the loss of place to live and due to the attack of wild sea animals. And then in the same paragraph we can read scientists estimate that today's link code population in northern Puget Sound and the Strait of Georgia is only 2% of what it was in 1950. It means that the population of Lincoln is now only 2% in the world. So we can say that the paragraph A is about the declining of fish population. Let's go to the list of headings. If we start from the bottom, heading number 7, impact of boat traffic, no. Heading number 6, smoke in large cities, no. Heading number 5, underwater noise, no. Heading number 4, player boating in St. John Islands, no. Heading number 2, toxic exposure, no. Heading number 1, top ocean predators, no. And right now we have only one heading remaining, that is heading number 3, declining fish population. That is the right heading because we have read in the paragraph about the decline of fish population. So we can cross the heading number 3 and we can write 3 in front of question number 27. Let's read the paragraph B. Toxic substances accumulate in higher concentrations as they move up the food chain. So we can get the hint that this paragraph is about the toxic substances or poisonous pollutants because oracas are the top predators in the ocean and are at the top of several different food chains in the environment. They tend, they means oracas, to be more affected by pollutants than other sea creatures. It means that the oracas are affected by toxic substances more than any other sea animals because oracas have to travel far away in search of food and in the result they have to face pollutant environment. So in this paragraph, uh, we have read about the effects on oracas due to the pollutants or toxic environment. Let's go to the list of headings. Heading number seven, impact of port traffic, no. Heading number six, smoke in large cities, no. Heading number five, underwater noise, no. Heading number four, player boating in St. John Islands, no. Heading number one, top ocean predators, no. And heading number two, toxic exposure. So heading number two is the right heading for the question number 12. We can cross the heading number 2 and we can write Roman 2 in front of question number 28. Because in the paragraph 2 we have read that because oracas are the top predators in the ocean and are at the top of several different food chains in the environment, they tend to be affected by pollutants than other sea creatures. Let's read the paragraph C. The waters around the St. John Islands are extremely busy due to the international commercial shipping, fishing, whale watching and player boating. St. John Islands is the keyword. It means that the sea water around the St. John Islands remain busy due to the four factors. First is international commercial shipping. Second is fishing. 
third is whale watching and fourth is player boating heading number four is player boating in st john islands which is a trap because in the paragraph four factors are given due to which the water around st john islands remain busy and player boating is one of these it is not uncommon to see numerous boats in the vicinity of the area of whales vicinity means area it means that it has become common practice that we see boats in the area of whales the potential impacts from all this vessel traffic with regard to the whales and other marine animals in the area could be tremendous vessel traffic means that boat traffic and the writer says that impacts of boat traffic could be tremendous on the whales and other marine animals so paragraph c is about the impacts or effects of boat traffic heading number one top ocean predators no heading number four player boating in st john islands no heading number five underwater noise no heading number six smoke in big cities no and heading number seven is impact of boat traffic which is the right heading for paragraph c so we can cross heading number seven and we can write roman seven in front of question number 29 let's read the last paragraph similar to surface impacts a primary source of acoustic pollution for this population of oracas would also be derived from the cumulative underwater noise of vessel traffic for cetaceans the underwater sound environment is perhaps the most critical component of their sensory and behavioral lives oracas communicate Communicate means talk or making a noise with each other over short and long distances with a variety of chicks, chirps, squeaks and whistles. These are the types of noise which oracas make along with using equations to locate prey and navigate. So this paragraph is about the sounds or noise of oracas. Let's go to the list of headings. Heading number one, top ocean predators, no. Heading number four, player in St. John Islands, no. Heading number six, smoke in large cities, no. And heading number five is underwater noise, which is the right heading for paragraph T. So we can cross heading number five, underwater noise, and we can write Roman five in front of question number 30.